Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anuta, the Grocery World. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a small pouch. And um, here I have used my 100% cotton yarn. And you can use this uh, pouch for anything. Um, I've put my this uh, AirPods in it. And it's like this. It closes up like this. And for this uh, particular pouch, I've used my 3mm of the hook. So let's begin. And for this one, have your yarn and we're going to make a magic circle here. So for the magic circle, just put your yarn around your fingers like this and make an axe here. And put your second strain of yarn at the back. Have your hook. Insert your hook in this way. Grab your yarn and turn your yarn. And that's it. This is your magic so I'm going to chain one here. Now this chain one is only to secure my um, this magic circle. This is not a stitch. Now here into this magic circle we're going to have two single crochets. So it's one and two. Now chain two, one and two. And again we're going to have another two single crochets into this magic circle. So that's one. And two and this is end of our row number one I'm gonna pull my this loose end a little bit like this and it is like this now here chain one for your row number two turn your work and insert your hook into this first stitch grab your yarn make your one single crochet here chain one and now we're gonna skip over this next single crochet and we will go to this chain two space so here it is this is our chain two space insert your hook into this chain two space grab your yarn make one single crochet here chain two insert your hook in again into that same space and make one more single crochet here so into this chain two space have one single crochet chain two and one single crochet again chain one we're going to skip over this next single crochet and we will insert our hook into our this last stitch and grab your yarn and make a single crochet here and it looks like this now for your row number three chain one turn your work and insert your hook into this first stitch grab your yarn make one single crochet here chain one and now we are here on this uh, chain one space so here make your chain one and now insert your hook into this chain one space wrap your yarn and make a single crochet so have a, a single crochet of your first stitch then chain one and then insert your hook into this chain one space from your previous round and make your one single crochet chain one again and now we are here so we will go into this chain two space and here again we're gonna have one single crochet chain two and one more single crochet again chain one and we're gonna skip over this single crochet and we will go to this chain one space insert your hook into this chain one space grab your yarn make a single crochet here chain one and go to this next single crochet and insert your hook into that single crochet grab your yarn and make a single crochet and this is end of your round number three now for your round number four chain one turn your work and insert your hook into this first stitch grab your yarn make your one single crochet chain one and now we are here into this chain one space here insert your hook grab your yarn and make one single crochet then chain one skip your next single crochet and into this chain one space insert your hook and make your one single crochet again chain one and now we're going to skip over this single crochet and we will directly go to this chain two space and into this chain two space have one single crochet chain two and one single crochet chain one we're going to skip our next single crochet and into this uh, chain one space insert your hook make your one single crochet chain one 
and we're going to skip our next single crochet and into this chain one space we have one single crochet chain one and we are going to insert our hook into our this last stitch so this is our last stitch insert your hook and make a single crochet here this is end of your round number four now for your round number five chain one turn your hook insert your hook into your first stitch grab your yarn make a single crochet chain one and go to your next chain one space insert your hook into that space grab your yarn make one single crochet chain one skip your next single crochet into a chain one space have one single crochet and chain one skip your next single crochet into a chain one space one single crochet and chain one and now we're going to skip over this next single crochet and into this chain two space have one single crochet chain two and one single crochet chain one again we're going to skip over this next stitch and into this chain one space one single crochet chain one skip your next single crochet into a chain one space one single crochet chain one skip your next single crochet into your next chain one space one single crochet chain one and we're going to insert our hook into our this last stitch and this is end of your round number five now for your round number six again chain one turn your work into your first stitch have your one single crochet chain one and now we're going to insert our hook into this next chain one space have one single crochet chain one skip your next single crochet into a chain one space have one single crochet chain one skip your next single crochet into a chain one space one single crochet chain one skip your next single crochet and into a chain one space one single crochet chain one uh, skip your next single crochet and into this chain two space have one single crochet chain two and one more single crochet again chain one skip your next single crochet one single crochet chain one skip your next single crochet into a chain one space have one single crochet chain one skip your next single crochet into a chain one space one single crochet chain one skip your next single crochet and into this last chain one space insert your hook make a single crochet and chain one and now we're going to insert our hook into this last stitch and we'll make our single crochet and this is the end of our row number six for your round number seven chain one turn your work make your one single crochet here chain one into this chain one space insert your hook grab your yarn make your one single crochet chain one skip your next single crochet into a chain one space one single crochet and chain one skip your next single crochet into this chain one space one single crochet chain one skip your next single crochet into this chain one space one single crochet and chain one skip your next single crochet into this chain one space one single crochet and chain one and into this chain two space one single crochet chain two and one single crochet chain one skip your next single crochet and into a chain one space one single crochet and chain one skip your next single crochet into it this chain one space one single crochet chain one skip your next single crochet into chain one space one single crochet and chain one skip your next single crochet and into this chain one space one single crochet and chain one and skip your next single crochet and into this chain one space one single crochet chain one and insert your hook into this last stitch with your single crochet end of your round number seven and now for your round number eight that's going to be your last row for this cover chain one turn your work insert your hook into this first stitch grab your yarn make your one single crochet chain one insert your hook into this chain one space and make one single crochet and chain one skip your next stitch and into chain one space one single crochet and chain one skip your next stitch into the chain one space have one single crochet and chain one skip your next stitch and one single crochet and chain one skip your next stitch and into this chain one space one single crochet and chain one skip your next stitch and into chain one space one single crochet and chain one and skip your next stitch into this chain two space have four single crochets here so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and four so i have four single crochets here chain one 
skip your next stitch and into your chain one space have one single crochet chain one skip the next one and one single crochet and chain one skip the next stitch and into a chain one space one single crochet and chain one skip the next single crochet and into a chain one space one single crochet and chain one skip your next stitch into your uh, next chain one space have one single crochet and chain one skip your next stitch and into this last stitch chain one space have one single crochet chain one and insert your hook into this last stitch make your last single crochet here and your work looks like this after your row number eight now here we're gonna chain up 16 one six it's one two three four five six here it is chain up 16 one six and we will go here so here insert your hook into this uh, last stitch grab your yarn and make a slip stitch here like this and now chain one now we're going to turn our work and here this is our chain one and this is our slip stitch so we're going to insert our hook into this slip stitch and grab your yarn and make a single crochet here now that's going to be your first single crochet of your round number one for this body part and we're going to put our stitch marker here now on this 16 chains you're going to have one single crochet on each chain so here by the end you're going to have 16 single crochets so here we have our first single crochet and then another 16 single crochets so in total we're going to have our 17 single crochets here so insert your hook into this next chain grab your yarn and make a single crochet into your next chain make one more single crochet Keep on having one single crochet on each chain and here it is i have my 17 single crochets remember i've taken my slip stitch as well into this um single crochets and now and that's going to be our round number one now we will go to this this part of our work so here i'm going to insert my hook into my this first stitch like this it's not actually a stitch but we are going to count our this rows here so until here we're going to have our eight single crochets so for that one have we this one single crochet here insert your hook into the second space your second single crochet your third single crochet four five six seven and eight here it is so here i've taken my first single crochet in here it's one two three four five six seven and eight here taking all eight rows on this side and now similarly we're going to take next eight stitches here so taking this eight rows here so here it is we are here i'm going to insert my hook into my this space grab the yarn and we'll make a one single crochet so it's one two three four six seven and that's gonna be my last stitch eight here it is next eight stitches here so here on this side we have eight and eight uh, 16 stitches plus our this stitches that's our 17 stitches in total we have 33 stitches on this round round number one now i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and i will insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a one single crochet here that's gonna be my first single crochet of my round number two now 
I'll put my stitch marker back on and from here we're going to start repeating our this pattern so for that one your first stitch will be your one single crochet then chain one and this chain one we're going to count as our stitch so first stitch is your one single crochet and then your second stitch is your chain one we're going to skip over this next stitch and we will insert our hook into this stitch after that and grab your yarn and make a one single crochet and chain one again skip your next stitch and into the stitch after that insert your hook grab your yarn and make a one single crochet and chain one again we're going to skip over this next stitch and we will insert our hook into this next single crochet and we will make our one single crochet here and chain one now keep on repeating this pattern and by the end you're going to have your 33 stitches remember and your last stitch is your single crochet and it will be here and i'm going to meet you here after my 33 stitches your one single crochet then chain one one single crochet and then chain one and skip your one stitch from your previous round as well in total you're gonna have your 33 stitches and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is for my round number or round number two i have my 32 stitches and my last stitch my 33 stitch would be my uh, last single crochet so i'm gonna skip my this next stitch and i'm gonna insert my hook into my this first uh, sorry into my this last stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a single crochet and this is my stitch number 33 for my round number or round number uh, two now for your round number three take out your stitch marker and we're going to skip over this first single crochet so for that chain one and now this chain one will be your first stitch of your round number three put your stitch marker back on on this uh, chain one and skip your next single crochet and here you're gonna find your this one uh, chain one insert your hook into this chain one grab your yarn and have one single crochet here chain one again we're gonna skip over this next single crochet and into this chain one space have one single crochet chain one skip your next stitch and into this chain one space have one single crochet chain one skip your next stitch and into this chain one space have one single crochet now keep on repeating this pattern for your round number three and at the end of your round number three you're going to have your 33 stitches and your last stitch will be a chain one and that will be here and i'm going to meet you here and here it is this is my 32nd stitch for my round number three and now i'm going to chain one and that's going to be my last stitch my stitch number 33 for my round number three now for your round number four we're going to repeat our round number two so take out your the stitch marker and insert your hook into this uh, chain one space grab your yarn and make a one single crochet and that is your first stitch of your round, round number two now we're going to repeat our round number two and round number three until round number 12. So keep on repeating your round number two and round number three until your round number 12 and I'm going to meet you after my round number 12. Remember each round will have 33 stitches and your pattern will build like this and I'm going to meet you after my round number 12. And here it is. After my round number 12, my work looks like this and now for your round number 13, take out your stitch marker now here your last stitch is your single crochet for your round number 12 so your uh, first stitch of your round number 13 will be your um, this chain one put your stitch marker back on and now we're gonna skip our next stitch as we have already made our chain one here and we will insert our hook into this chain one space and that's our second stitch third stitch fourth stitch fifth stitch sixth stitch seventh stitch and eight stitch so have eight stitches for your round number 13 and now we're gonna attach over this two parts together so for the uh, round number 13 we're gonna have only eight stitches here and that's it now we're gonna attach over this work but before attaching it just pull your yarn and turn your work because that's going to be the back uh, side of your work now simply just take out your yarn like this just fold your work this way now 
chain one and we're gonna attach our this two parts together uh, if you want you can take out this stitch marker we don't need this one anymore so just take out your the stitch marker and attach your work this way so as we have made our chain one we're gonna have both the loops of our this first part and both the loops of our this second part like this and grab your yarn and make a single crochet here now keep on having single crochets and you're gonna have your 16 single crochets here so that's your first single crochet two three here it is i have my 12 stitches and now i'm gonna cut my yarn We'll continue doing my stitches so that's 12 stitches and that's gonna be my thirteen, fourteen, fifty, 14 and my last stitch my last single crochet 16th single crochet and I'm just going to secure my this last stitch as I've already cut my yarn like this and that's it. You can turn your work and it's all done like this. It's going to look like this. Now put your this um, loose ends in and I'm gonna meet you after that here it is I put my this loose ends in and I'm gonna turn my work and it looks like this now here we're gonna fold our work and fold the cover as well now you can see this um, little gap here we have put this little gap for our button so I'm just gonna attach my this button in here so for that one just have an idea that this is the this is the space you want to put your button on and simply just attach your um, button here here it is I'm gonna turn my this work for one more time and we'll just attach this two strain of yarn and I'll put my this loose ends in the button is here and here it is it is all done and now for this strap here I have chained about uh, 31 here and then into my second chain I've started making my half double crochet so one half double crochet on each chain starting from the second chain from your hook and that's how I've made this strap if you want to go ahead with your half double crochet strap you can have a half double crochet strap or you can simply have uh, this strap now here I'm gonna chain up two so it's one and two so these are my two chains and now I'm gonna insert my hook into my this uh, second chain from my hook so insert your hook inside your second chain grab your yarn and you're gonna have two loops on your hook now yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops now you can see a, a strap strap of yarn here just insert your hook into that strap of yarn that loop and your work will automatically turn like this now grab your yarn and pull your yarn through that one strap of yarn and now you're gonna have two loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through both the loops now onwards you're gonna have two loops in here on your right hand side so just insert your hook into these two loops your work will automatically turn now grab your yarn and pull your yarn through those two loops now we're gonna have uh, two loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops again you're gonna find your two loops on this side on your right hand side insert your hook into that two loops grab your yarn and now your work will automatically turn so turn your work yarn over and spool your yarn through both the loops now keep on repeating this pattern 
and this is um, what called um, Romanian code so I'm gonna keep on doing my this Romanian code until my desired length and here it is this much of my length would be fine I'm just gonna cut my yarn here and simply just take your work and now somewhere here attach your strap now put your this loose ends in you can turn your work and now just put this two loose ends in and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is it is all done i've just put my this airports in and it looks like this you can close your this pouch like this simply and you can hold your pouch this way this one is here as well and that's it i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have like please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye